And hello everybody, you're live, it's Monday night, March 17th, 2008. If you have any questions for the show, you can send them to sherrytalkradio at yahoo.com. I'll be checking that in and out. Oh, it's one of those nights, you know, if I don't sound too upbeat and sherry, it's because I'm not. Um, some of you have been listening to this show for weekly in, in and out. Well, remember back in September and October, and I told you I had found things in the codes that I wasn't going to reveal because I didn't want to escalate things at the time, uh, because I knew they were watching what I expose and reveal, and uh, they watch very carefully what I say and the things I, I expose and reveal on this show, because it, it kind of correlates to how they act and how much time they have to play with. And back then, uh, the whole thing even then was that I had found in the codes where the gold vaults were empty. Uh, that there is no gold in any of the vaults. And the reason I didn't expose that back then was to give the believers in the Lord more time. Uh, because most of you are living week to week, aren't prepared for a coming economic crash. And I knew back then, if, if I had stated back in September, October, when it was that I had found that, uh, that things would have escalated before the, the end of the year. And, and so now it's March. And we're seeing it. We're seeing it come about. Uh, you know, it, it bought us maybe five or six months. Uh, it's not going to delay things forever. Eventually, people are going to just be caught unprepared. And as much as I hate it, you know, we can't keep uh, stalling. The only reason things have delayed as far as they have is because of Maitreya. Certainly not the Lord. I mean, he's given them the green light. They can do what they please. It's, it's, it's their stage right now. And the events of the tribulation period will come about. And the only reason things haven't escalated even farther is because of their own indecisiveness in how to how to act and react to what's going on, actually getting their plans going. And so that's where we're at right now, folks, is that it just can't be stalled any longer. There's no gold in the vaults. There's practically any any substantial money in the banks. Uh, and some of you, the Lord has already been telling you, to get your money out of the banks. And so if he is telling you you feel a nudge uh, at your spirit to get your money out of the bank, get it out. You know, do as he says because, you know, it's going to be a snowball. It's going to triple at first. You know, maybe a small bank at a small town will close its doors and then maybe somewhere else. What I'm saying may affect you in your area and not everybody all around the nation or around the world is what I'm saying. Uh, so if what I'm saying resonates with you, uh, then it's for you that I'm speaking. Uh, because I know that uh, some banks will be propped up longer than others, where other people are being told uh, to get their money out of the banks, maybe because uh, the bank they have it in is getting ready to close their doors or, or something. He's trying to warn. And I know that he'll warn about a month or two and then... It just hits, whatever he's trying to warn you about. Uh, and that's how you'll learn to hear his voice, too, how he nudges your spirit um, to do things. And then you'll realize uh, when you don't do them, when you feel that nudging, uh, that, that whatever you said happens. And so uh, one way of hearing them, you know. Uh, so I just wanted to, to throw that out there because uh, you, they just can't hide it any longer, you know. <laughs> And and me talking about it tonight isn't going to speed it up. It's already under controlled demolition status. Uh, And what they're doing is is our economy is tanking. Uh, Global economy is holding up American economy right now. Uh, But it's all getting ready to tank. It's going to crash, folks. And so there's no no one can hold it up any longer. Uh, And these things that I've been warning about and you've been reading about uh, are going to come to pass. And so uh, some of the things that... um, that I've been looking for uh, is, uh, you know, it, it comes a point where for so many years, everything I see in the codes is, is background info. It's what they're doing in the background that nobody else sees. Uh, and all of a sudden, you start to see them come live. In other words, everything that's being done in the, in the dark is coming to the light, and we're seeing all this manifest now. Uh, so it is, it's, it's uh, pretty eye-opening, really. It's a, it's a total change. Because I know that as soon as the stuff does come to light, stuff people aren't going to want to see. You know, none of this is stuff people are going to want to see, but it's coming. Uh, I've been talking about March uh, forever. 
uh, warning about the March, month of March, because uh, it's always a dominant month, either 2008 or 2009, dominant month for the beast Maitreya. And he's operating in the background right now, folks. He's very much operating. Uh, <laughs> what I found interesting, and I sent it out to my list uh, last week, is the fact that, uh, let me see where I put it, um, Dick Cheney taking off to the green zone unannounced. And so people might be uh, wondering what that's about. Um, I found it interesting because as much as I kept saying uh, month, the month of March is a dominant month for Maitreya to finally show his face, uh, that uh, Cheney would take off there unannounced uh, this week. Another thing I'd been saying is that we had been building them a palace in the green zone. That the whole reason we even have the green zone over there is we're, we're building this Maitreya, this huge home, this huge palace over there. And that's exactly what it is. Uh, this, this palace they have built him under the guise of some kind of U.S. embassy is larger than the Vatican. So he can hold a lot of his, his, his forces there, a lot of his council there, uh, whatever he needs. He has a lot of, uh, these alien and demonic forces that are coming and that's what we've been working uh, kind of stumbled on it by accident with the Orgone everything that the Orgone can do it's got 101 uses we're always finding something new that it can do and uh, it's apocalyptic the Bible Codes calls it apocalyptic it's going gonna, it's gonna to cause a lot of events uh, in the Bible to come about and one of these things is, is the whole locus uh you know, I, I just said it kind of half flippantly months ago that, that Bush is probably over there drilling <laughs> in the Euphrates River and he's going to end up opening up the abyss where all these locusts come out of. You can read about it in Revelation chapter 9 where it talks about the locusts coming up out of the abyss. Uh, and Euphrates River always comes up in the codes and, and I just kind of jokingly said that he's probably going to be the ones drilling for something because they're looking for that gateway over there. And... Um, but sure enough, these locusts are actually allies of the Smytreas, and the Orgone's going to destroy them. It might take six months, but they're going to be destroyed. Uh, we're going to be destroying a lot of his forces with this Orgone. And what we've been able to do in our own country is secure it, uh, make it a fortress against Maitreya and his forces. Uh, and as they try to take it over, they're just going to die trying to. Uh, and so it's a, it's a it's a perpetual war. It's a constant war. We've been targeting their strongholds throughout the country, their underground bases. Uh, the best thing to do, I've been telling uh, you guys, is to get it in the water, get it in the lakes, get it in the rivers, get it in the oceans, get it in ponds, get it in the water. Um, because these aliens and these demonic forces need water. They don't necessarily eat our food, but they drink our water, they bathe in our water, and our water becomes very toxic to them if it has orgone in it. Uh, now, orgone doesn't bother humans, uh, but for some apparent reason, it just totally burns and destroys alien and satanic forces. Uh, so I thought that was interesting that uh, Cheney's taking over, take a, took off over to the green zone. I do think my tray is planning uh, to make his announcement soon that he's here. Um, if you listen to, I haven't listened to his people. I don't even know what they're saying. They usually say they're waiting on our media to announce that he's here. Uh, <laughs> if anybody knows our media, <laughs> they're not going to announce much of anything. Uh, so we've been kind of keeping track of uh, Arab websites and Indian websites to see if they announce anything about Maitreya's arrival over there uh, in case they are and we're having a news media blackout here. Uh, so that'll be interesting. Uh, another interesting piece I sent out last week uh, was on the special closed uh, closed session of the U.S. House Representatives uh, last week. It was only the fourth time in 176 years that Congress closed its door to the public. Um, and so there was a lot of curiosity on what was it they were talking about and didn't want the public to know about. Because uh, it was a closed session, 